And the Oscar goes to another round, Denmark, directed by Thomas Winterberg. Denmark's comedy drama, Another Round, took home the Oscar for Best International Feature Film. But it's the movie's director, Thomas Vitterberg's moving speech that broke everyone's hearts when he shared a personal story about his late daughter. So, we wanted to make a film that celebrates life. And um, four days into shooting, the impossible happened. Uh, an accident on a highway took my daughter away. Someone looking into a cell phone. And um, we miss her, and I love her. In his emotional speech, the Oscar winner went on to say that his daughter, who was 19 when she tragically died, read the script prior to her passing and loved it. And he believes she's looking down at him, cheering him on. Uh, two months before we shot this movie, and two months before she died, she was in Africa. She sent me a letter, and she just read the script, and she was glowing with excitement. She loved this, and she felt seen by this, and uh, she was supposed to be in this. And if anyone dares to believe that she's here with us somehow, she, uh, you'll be able to see her clapping, clapping and, and cheering with us. Uh, we ended up making this movie for her as her monument. So, Ida, this is a miracle that just happened. And you're a part of this miracle. Maybe you've been pulling some strings somewhere, I don't know, but this one is for you. The film is about four friends in various stages of a midlife crisis as they try to reinvent themselves by drinking. This, this is a film about letting go of control in life and as I lost control in my own. And I want to thank my wife, Helene, who sits over here, for being the angel of this project, uh, for guiding me through this very difficult period. Vitterberg says the idea of the film came from looking at the accomplishments people have made around the world while drunk. This is the fifth time someone from Denmark has won an Academy Award. Thanks to the Academy for voting on this film. This is beyond anything I could ever imagine. Except this is something I've always imagined. <laughs> Since I was five or something, I've been preparing speeches in train stations, at school, in the toilet. And here I am, it's real, it's amazing, wow.